Spencer Lazar, MMAinterviews.tv, here at World Series of Fighting with Josh Thompson, the punk. Hanging out here, obviously a buddy of yours is the main event here, about to go down, Mr. John Fitch. You've been helping him uh, prepare. Actually, you've had surgery, so I guess watching him prepare. Yeah, I've been watching him prepare, but uh, he's been looking good, and um, you know, it's his first fight outside of the UFC, so a lot of the guys from AK and a lot of, um, obviously, a lot of the students came out just to support him and let him know, you know, hey, we're still here for him, and uh, we want to just uh, make sure he gets a good win, you know? It's been a little bit of a tough time for him, obviously. Have you guys sort of rallied behind him, you know, during this? Yeah, you know, it's hard any time. I mean, you leave the biggest promotion in the world, you know, and you come over here to the World Series of Fighting, and you know, you're just trying to, you know, just trying to support. Your, you know, your friend and, you know, for us, he's like family. So, you know, um, everyone brought their wives and their, their kids out just to support him and, and be here for him. You know, that's the biggest thing. Doing big things, of course, up there at AK. You got all sorts of champions, contenders and whatnot. What can you say about, you know, what's going on up there? Well, I mean, I figure like with Kane having the world title, you know, the, the, the UFC championship belt and then... Um, you know, I feel like we've got a lot of guys that are right there knocking on the door, you know, between me, Gray, and uh, Khabib, one of us will have the lightweight title by the end of the year, I'm hoping, you know, given the opportunity, if not this year, then for sure next year. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, just, I mean, Luke just needs a couple good fights, you know, he's right back in the title hunt, and uh, he'll be right there. And I honestly believe that, you know, a lot of these guys, just the UFC jitters, you know, I think, I um, mean, they're coming in, I'm this, for me, this isn't my first, you know, time in the big show it's the biggest show in the world and and um you know being with the ufc has, has been it definitely has been eye-opening you know and uh it's just uh it's being back to to where i originally started my career basically and it's been it's been amazing how what do you think do you still have sort of a love for all the strike force guys you know everyone's doing pretty well coming into the ufc yeah, I mean, like for me, I never had any doubt where they would do well. I just felt like, you know, um, given the opportunity, they'd, they'd do well. And that was the biggest thing. And they needed the chance to do it. And so, um, you know, we're just really, I mean, yeah, of course, I support the, the Strike Force guys. But like I said, now, I mean, we're all in the biggest company in the world. And it's, uh, you know, with the UFC. And it's just, I think it's opened the doors for a lot of the guys to really step up and show their quality of fighting. And um, it's great that it's happened this way. Were you looking to get that uh, next fight again with Gilbert or what? Uh, you know what? I think Gilbert just signed to fight Diego, so that's going to be a great fight. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm really looking to see uh, who wins the TJ Grant and Benson fight. I'm like, I've said this before. I'm focused on one thing, and I'm focused on getting that title. I didn't come to the UFC for anything else but the belt, and so I'm here right now. And I mean, I feel like I'm the number. Then I feel like I'm the number one guy right now, the number one contender for sure. And um, you know, if I got to if I got to fight Gilbert again to get there, then so be it. But I mean, I honestly feel like he had his shot. You know, he didn't capitalize, and and I'm here right now to to, to capitalize on my opportunity. So if it's given, if I get the phone call, then you know, I mean, obviously I'm I'm gonna be training and get ready for what's next. Would you, um, did you feel like that? Went over Nate put you there, you know, talk about was that the biggest of your career? I mean, what was the feeling getting that knockout there? You know, honestly, like I, I can't say it's I, so I, I judge my fights a lot differently. Like for me, the Hermes fight, the Hermes Franca fight was the one of the biggest, if not the biggest in my career, because I always wanted to know if I was a coward, like someone that would roll over when they got dropped and knocked down and just, you know, cover my head and, you know, and just take shots to the referee stop. I want to know. I want to know if I was that kind of fighter. And that let me know in that fight, you know, I got dropped and I came back and ended up winning a, you know, a decision. But I mean, at the end of that round, after being worked over for two, you know, for two and a half minutes in that fight, I was able to fight back and finish the round, the third round stronger than him after winning the first two rounds. And, um, you know, those are things like, you know, people, people ask, you know, how can you do it? it you learn a lot about yourself as a fighter. And uh, if you're, if you're a real fighter, if you're just somebody that talks the game. And so that fight to me will always live in my memories as far as me learning a lot about myself. Um, as far as with the Nate Diaz fight, I just feel like it put me in the position where I um, I should be definitely talked about as the number one contender or next in line for the title shot. And um, it's just up to me to capitalize. You know, whoever, if they want me to fight one more time, that's great. If not, you know, then, uh, you know, then I'm looking to just take home the title. That's the biggest thing is I feel like Benson and I match up really well and uh, stylistically, especially for the fans. And I'm not here for anything else but that, but that strap, that belt. And whether it's TJ, whether it's Benson, I don't care who it is. And uh, I'm going to make sure it's a good fight. I'm going to make sure that, you know, we're not going to, I'm going to try my hardest. Not to, not to go to the decision, but I'm going to go out there and try and take that belt away from him. Just watching him face Gilbert and that being sort of a stalemate in a way similar to your fights with Gilbert, sort of give you confidence knowing, hey, you know, I, I'm right there as well. Yeah, I mean, but you, you know, I don't like to compare MMA math, you know, and everyone knows it never works out, you know, two plus two never equals four, you know, in MMA. So it just doesn't work out. My biggest thing is that, um, you know, stylistically, Benson and I make for a really entertaining fight, you know, and, um, we're both scramblers when we hit the ground. We're both good on the feet. We're both mix it up and 
And um, it's just a matter of who wants it. I think when it comes down to that, who's going to want it more? We both have great cardio, and I think that the fans will be the ones that win that fight. You know, and just like with me and Gil, I feel like the fans won more than Gil and I did. You know, I mean, I lost 10 years off my life those three fights. You know, so that's really what it comes down to. It's just giving the fans what they deserve. You know, and really trying to represent your brand, which my brand now is. You know, the biggest promotion in the world, the UFC. So that's my biggest thing. Talk about your health. I know you had a, a couple little minor surgeries, but you're back at it already. Yeah, right after the Nate fight, uh, about a week and a half later, I had knee and elbow surgery same day I mean I walked out it's a, a slight tear in my meniscus that we had trimmed and I had some bone uh, fragments in my elbow that we had taken out and um, that's made a, a world of difference and I mean honestly I mean I trained a little bit last week trained a little bit this week I'm gonna ease into it for probably another week or two and then I'm gonna start jumping into it full force hopefully within the next three weeks definitely man well anything else you want to say no man I just want to really just thank all my sponsors thank all the support from the fans and uh, you know hey thanks for having me on definitely appreciate the time look for this man making a return to the octagon Josh Thompson I'm Spencer Lazara thanks for watching MMA interviews TV